dare you? You didn't do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? <laughs> An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning the review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> We were an inconvenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey, you may have to find your own way out. No, I honestly don't. I don't know what any of this was about but if it was all about rose go and be with rose if it was all about your precious pandora go and be with your work do whatever you want but i won't be part of it not anymore You're right. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. to realize that you were never going to have the decency to leave me. You know what I've come to understand? For all your genius and passion, for all your talk of changing the world, you're a coward. You're just a coward. Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up a third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Uh... 
loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, memory geography is likely to be fragmented, and combat is a strong possibility. Th thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tagged this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, oh, it seems. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. talk. Good. I'm going to see him now. You still on board? I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know. Call it instinct. Speak later. Hmm. Memory glitches becoming more well, and more I'd frequent. Say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. Prado is black. Alive for now. 
Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pay's good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not gonna be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? Grace? My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. the money here it's a genuine meeting he's got some plan he thinks you could help out with ask me if i thought it was crazy getting you involved and do you i think you're a man that can be trusted i suppose we'll find out thanks
Dr. Ramsey? You've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. Remember, Dr. Ramsey, and focus on the memory you wish to explore. I cannot pull you out of this one alone. Focus and find a way back. Howard, Mr. Ramsey. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. If seen this. Then why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him, or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price, within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse? You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family, to Grace, it was all because of you, my own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want, and there would be nothing you could do about it. 
Oh, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards! I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. How could you get it so wrong? Grace, sit. things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. I know. I was a fool. <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a dad. Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you. You're familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife.
I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. And as for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this... This is just incessant, incoherent gobbling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you. Come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying either. I got it wrong, Grace. And I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right. But I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you... I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. <gasps> okay, Grace. It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. You're right, I... I've seen enough. Grace, my love, are you okay? Yeah. The technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign, and we'll transfer the money within You're 20... You're a piece of work, you know that! Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! <sighs> I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Shut up! Shut up, both of you! Mum, I've got this. You put me in this wheelchair. You do realise that, don't you? Well, without you, my parents are still together and my father is still alive. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all Grace, this? Grace, I don't know what you saw. You want her to sign those papers? <sighs> you want her to allow you to work with Robert's technology? Then you don't fucking grace her. To you, she is Miss Ramsey, and you don't speak unless you're spoken to first. Am I making myself clear? Yes. Perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. Miss Ramsey. How many functional headsets do we have? Fully functional. Only one, Miss Ramsey. Your father. This one? That's right. No. No! No, Grace! And now you have none. <gasps> do you have any idea what you've just done? This ends today. My father was a misguided man who didn't understand what he was dealing with. And I certainly can't trust you to do the right thing. You're going to regret that. No, I won't. Nobody should be obsessing over things they can't change, shutting themselves off from the present. Memories belong in the past, and my father deserves to be dead. You're playing a very dangerous game, Grace. Threats? Oh, how very original of you, Rose. Well, what are you going to do? Kidnap me again? Strap another bomb to me? There is nothing you can threaten me with that's worse than what I've already been through. So fuck the headset, and especially fuck you! Let's go home, Mum. Of course. You haven't heard the last of this, Grace. It's Miss Ramsey. And yeah, I have. No, wait! Come back! Let's discuss this! No! There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Goodbye.